glad that you're excited about this at least. So let's start with you, Ranvijay. What do you think about this theme, where women rule? I, I know that you're sure. all about girl power because we're, we're just about getting done with roadies and that's exactly what you talk about the whole time. Women power. So what do you think about this theme of Splits Villa this year? I actually, uh, first of all, hi, good evening. Everyone, thanks for coming here. Uh, I hope you like the promo. The promo in itself, you can see that uh, when Sunny is playing her game, there is a warrior, that is me, that is fighting for her, which is how every woman in this country, in the world, should feel like that they have somebody fighting for them. And in the end, you see that uh, she takes a throne, and there's another, the lady that she was fighting with, she's also taking a throne. So clearly in the promo, it's expressed that this is Splitsvilla 9, where women rule. And uh, I was really happy, because uh, since uh, there is an empress in my life, and there's a queen also, the empress is my mother, because I, while growing up, was taught by the actions of my father uh, as how you should care, respect, and be there for your woman. And uh, so I was like, oh, this is, this is great. And then I got married, and now uh, my wife pretty much rules my world. Through that, she does. And, uh, and I see that in, in Sunny's life also. When we host a show where we, we'll wait, we'll wait for them. They're also working hard. They were, we're that fast. Now it's like we went to another place. How, how about that? One picture we were somewhere else, now we are somewhere else. So on, in, on this show, we have 15 celebrity boys that some of you must have seen somewhere. And there are six princesses to start with. This is a world which, according to me, should be the entire world, though it's a small split of world where boys are doing everything to impress these princesses. They are, with their skill, with their talent, with, with respect, with dignity, doing things for the princesses. And I think somewhere realizing that this is how life should be. Looking at them, I have a feeling a lot of their followers, our followers, and MTV's followers will be like, okay, this is how you're supposed to be with women? I didn't know that, but thanks. So I'm really happy that the whole concept is where women rule. And uh, boy, we have seen some crazy things this, this season. It's been amazing. Wow, so exciting. All right, both of you are not just hosts of the show, but in a way, you all are mentors to these contestants as well. So how was it this time playing host and mentor to the contestants? Um, I mean, I don't see us as, I mean, I don't see myself as a mentor when I'm talking to these kids uh, or the contestants. Um, it's more about, you know, helping them see a different perspective. Um, or you're getting angry at something or you're in the heat of the moment and um, sometimes you lose perspective of what the actual uh, truth looks like or you know, so I do believe that we provided that outside look into, you know, the situations that were happening. Because there were so many different situations. <laughs> we were like, Ese ye ke ho <laughs> um, and we would sit there and uh, laugh. You know, some of the comments that these contestants would say and some of the things that would, they would do, they're doing them because of that spur of the moment, the heat of the moment. I'm sure you can elaborate as well. Uh, see, because... Sunny and I are not playing characters, like we're not some characters which was written in a script. A lot of times when something pleases us, we express ourselves. Like if somebody's done a good job, we're like, very good, I'm really proud of you, I thought you could do it, and you finally did it. And there are times when you're disappointed with some people's behavior, and not as men mentors, but as human beings who have a certain ideology, we kind of correct them. Whether they do listen to us or not is their priority, They're, it's up to them. But we express ourselves and that's why more than hosts sometimes you might feel that we because we have our own opinion but it's fun because a lot of situations are put out there and then me and Sunny are just like should we get some popcorn because this is really interesting <laughs> so there are times when we just stand back and just watch these contestants the boys and the princesses just do their thing and it's just we don't even have to do anything after they're in a situation literally we would stand there for 15 20 minutes going and we have a handshake when that happens. We cross our fingers and we do a fist bump. <laughs> yeah. Code language. That's nice. All right, Sunny, third time in a row hosting Splits Villa. What's new this season? First of all, congratulations. We love you at MTV, clearly. 
Tell us how was this season for you? This season was every season is so different and this season we were in Pondicherry and we stayed at the most beautiful resort in Pondicherry and the hospitality down there and the way of life down there was uh it was fun to be able to be a part of um Pondicherry in in so many different ways. And um Splitsville this year we have the most amazing looking contestants the women on the show are all beautiful uh the guys on the show they all have like six pack abs i don't know how they maintain those six pack abs in 30 days because at the end of it you know everybody's eating rice chole you know roti every production single day yeah. production food so i don't know how the boys maintain these six pack abs but they did um we had some really shocking moments um i am very emotionally attached to a lot of the contestants and which is just how my personality is and I would laugh with them and also if they started crying I would get also teary eyed um, can I el- elaborate on yeah. that because that's one thing that I want to tell about Sunny like how Galen said we at MTV love you and uh, from the channel side I can say that as as a host when you're involved in the stories of the contestants all the boys and the girls it comes naturally and that's what Sunny you know does she comes on the set and it's not like okay what is happening what happened no no tell me when a guy is saying something she knows exactly why that guy is saying that and then she can also say but didn't he say this yesterday so as a host it becomes very natural to be part of that story and and that's why you know i think we do this because we're involved and uh, i must say it's a pleasure working with sunny Aww, thank you so much <laughs> Amazing. That Italian. Thank you. <laughs> What does it exactly mean to rule? I think ruling means making tough decisions, making decisions you don't want to make. Um also making decisions for the betterment of your kingdom. <laughs> well, at least for Splits Villa. Um at the end of the day, this is a show about young people that come together. They're all put in different situations, different competitions, hamare patate ro sessions, um where they get to know more about each other. Um so even though it is where women rule, if one of our queens or one of our princesses by the utaya uh, of, of, the of that power um we would also say you know just because you have this power doesn't mean you can abuse it and treat one of the warriors or one of the boys in this manner that's not the way that a princess should be or a human being should be so we would it wouldn't all be in favor of the princess if we kuch galat karte then we would correct them as well or or say you know you're seeing it this way but maybe he's also we defended the boys a lot i think um, there were a lot of cuz with with power sometimes people don't know what happens to them cuz they've never had that or they don't know how to respect power also so we we try to maintain a balance between the two cuz sometimes if if the boy is not wrong but just cuz you have power the girl was so we'd say hey why don't you listen to his side of the story but um in the in the whole experience there was a lot of connections which is love uh, friendship betrayal we saw the most beautiful acts of friendship in the season that i've i haven't seen in uh, the previous seasons or just maybe on television you know and well, we've seen brutal betrayal also with so these are the girls on top as welcome to hello again here they are You know, sometimes I think about how hard I have to work, but then I look around me and I'm like, that's all right. <laughs> Somebody's going to do it and I take one for the team. I'll stand I, with all I the girls. I thought you taking one for the team in this show. He's like in this in this patate ro session, mai kuch nahi karunga. I'll just sit there. I'll drink my coffee, I'll drink my tea, and you guys all you girls can do what you want and enjoy the session, but mai kuch nahi karunga. And then kya kiya? It's free. Yeah, I I didn't think I had it in me to be part of that patate roast session. It takes a very confident man to be part of that patate roast session.
इस नए सीजन का जो थीम है वो है वे वेमेन रूल और सनी और मैं ये बिलीव करते हैं कि हमारे देश में बहुत ज़रूरत है ऐसी ऐसी बातों के बारे में बात करें और वो एक एक एग्जाम्पल से दिखाएं चाहे वो शो एंटरटेनमेंट हो या कुछ भी हो जितने भी हमारे लड़के हैं पंद्रह लड़के हैं सेलिब्रिटी लड़के उन लोगों को एक तरीके से एक रिस्पेक्ट से शिवलरी से सारी लड़कियों से बिहेव करना पड़ा और उसकी वजह से उनमें भी बदलाव आया और मुझे लगता है जितने हमारे फॉलोअर्स हैं या जितने भी लोग एम देखते हैं शो को देखते हैं उनमें भी कुछ ना कुछ बदलाव आएगा क्योंकि काफ़ी लोग अवेयर ही नहीं है कि किस प्रकार से आपको बात करनी चाहिए रिस्पेक्ट होती है शिवलरी होती है आपको अपनी जो आपकी लाइफ में वुमन है चाहे वो आपकी मॉम हो आपकी गर्लफ्रेंड हो वाइफ हो या सिस्टर हो उनके लिए हाउ यू टू स्टैंड अप फॉर देम उनके लिए कैसे आपको फाइट करना है एंड इन आर ओन वे स्प्रिचुलर कहीं ना कहीं वो करता है मज़े भी बहुत आए पर आई थिंक दिस इज सब कॉन्शियस मैसेज होता है सनी वॉडी वॉन्ट टू से I love India. I don't think that एक ऐसी जगह होती दैट आई वन गेट एज मच एक्सेप्टेंस एज आई गॉन हेयर इन इंडिया एंड इट्स ट्रू क्योंकि आई बैन टू डिफरेंट कंट्रीज एंड आई वर्क इन डिफरेंट एरियाज इन दर्ल्ड एंड दिस इज वर आई गॉन दी मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेंस इतना प्यार इतना सपोर्ट मैंने कभी सोचा नहीं है एंड for that i'm forever thankful to all the fans mai bahut emotional hoti hu mai bahut emotional ladki hu actually sunny ke bare mein ek cheez hai ki wo har baar agar kuch bhi ek show ho ya agla show ho ya unka koi aur event ya koi cheez wo kar rahe hain she is very grateful and jaisa aapne sawal pucha bahut acha sawal hai she is grateful और हमारी आपस में जो नॉर्मल बात होती है एज फ्रेंड्स यही बात बाहर आती है कि जो भी उनको अपॉर्चुनिटी भगवान ने दी है और इस देश ने और शी इज़ रियली ग्रेटफुल शी इज़ वन ऑफ द पीपल दैट आई मीट और इनके एग्जांपल में बाकी नए कंटेस्टेंट तो मेरे साथ बहुत सारे लोग जुड़ते हैं उनको बोलता हूँ कि यार लुक एट दिस कि आपको जब कुछ मिलता है यू टू बी ग्रेटफुल यू कैन टेक इट फॉर ग्रांटेड एंड शी इज़ वन पर्सन ऑलवेज डज दैट How was your super hot experience? Splits Villa. Uh, Splits Splits Villa is. I'm just gonna answer his question really quick, yeah. and then we're gonna come right to you. Uh, Splits Villa ka journey itna acha tha. Um, har saal aisa hi hota hai. We have so much fun. Last year we had a great time. This year, uh, no exceptions. It was so much fun. Um, For me, especially, there's so many things that go wrong throughout the year. Ye movie uh, acha hota hai, ye movie nahi acha hota hai. Um, different things that you want to do, and they don't always pan out the way you want. Or both sort of drama bhi hota hai life mein. So for one month, I escape my own world. I go into Splits Villa, and I enter the lives of these contestants. And Run Vijay and I, we watch these these contestants from day one. जो बातें करते हैं जो उसके सोच में क्या उसके ओपिनियंस क्या है टू द वेरी लास्ट डे व्हिच इज अ कंप्लीट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज व्हाट हैपेंस एट द या द ग्रोथ ऑफ दिस कंटेस्टेंट्स ना ये देखकर हमें भी ऐसा लगता है कि यार लुक एट द पैशन जिस जो आज के यूथ में है जो कुछ अचीव करना चाहते हैं लोग वो यहां पर आके एक्चुअली कर रहे हैं किस एक्सट्रीम तक कर रहे हैं कई बार ऐसा होता है कि हम उनको एक सिचुएशन देते हैं कंपटीशन टास्क देते हैं उसके बाद दोनों हम 10 15 मिनट के ऐसे देखते रहते हैं और ऐसा लगता है कि हम एक शो देख रहे हैं यू आर सो एंटरटेनिंग क्योंकि आप देख रहे हो कि एक इंसान कैसे आया था उसने कैसे ग्रो किया कैसे कॉन्फिडेंस उसमें और आया कैसे उसका जो पर्सनालिटी बाहर आया और वो जीतना चाहता है किस हद तक सो इट्स इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल्सो दे कम विथ देयर ओन सेट ऑफ बैगेजेस जो उसके लाइफ में हुआ जो उसके एक्सपीरियंसेस होते एंड दैट ऑल कम्स फॉरवर्ड एज वेल एंड समटाइम्स दैट वर्क्स फॉर यू दैट वर्क्स फॉर देम बट समटाइम्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट डजेंट क्योंकि वो जो बैगेज होता है आपके माइंड में इमोशनली यू ब्रिंग दैट फॉरवर्ड इन द नेक्स्ट रिलेशनशिप और कनेक्शन एंड इस शो इज अबाउट कनेक्शंस एंड इट्स अबाउट फ्रेंडशिप्स और रोमांस हाउ एवर इट वर्क्स आउट फॉर ईच पर्सन इन मी आई डोंट थिंक दू कैन पिन पॉइंट एक And also, um, you're doing man. Uh, you're playing as a role of mentor. What do you do? Uh, as what? Mentor. 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 Oh, mentor. mentor. Um, I don't think you can pinpoint one characteristic because, as the show develops, as each patatero session, as each dumping or each uh, competition that happens, we Ran Vijay and I follow. We go through the emotions with. each of these contestants and to pinpoint one thing i think it would be wacky cuckoo crazy i don't i can't even pinpoint one word mai mujhe kai bar lagta hai ki mujhe pakadna padta hai sunny ko jab wo competition chal rahe hote the beach pe she is like 
अगर मैं होती ना तो मैं ऐसे करके ये करती हूँ फिर मैं ऐसे करती हूँ लाइक देर आर लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स शी गेट्स एक्साइटेड जब एक परफॉर्मेंस हो रहा होता है और वो हम लोग काफ़ी बार आपस में डिस्कस करते हैं कि यार इस पटाते रहो सेशन में अगर मैं होता ना तो मैं ये करता और इस हिसाब से करता और शायद ये फ़ायदा होता फिर उन तो हम लोग हमेशा अपने आप को वी ट्राई टू पुट आर सेल्स देर एंड हमेशा लगता है कि अगर हम होते तो वी वुड हैव डन मैं एक्चुअली बहुत ही इंस्परेशनल मानता हूँ इनकी जर्नी जब से ये इंडिया में आई शी वॉज द स्वीट हार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री सबको बहुत भाई बट उसके बाद एक बहुत बड़ा सवाल ये था कि अभी क्या करेंगी फिर उन्होंने मूवीज़ की मूवीज डिड रियली वेल एंड लास्ट ईयर मेरे को मौका मिला इनसे इनके साथ सिर्फ मिलने का नहीं काम करने का और एज अ ह्यूमन बीक जानने का इनके इंटरेस्ट खाना पसंद है पागल हैं कभी खुद भी करना चाहती हैं कॉम्पिटिशन और लाइफ में क्या क्या चाहती हैं इट्स शी इज़ अ वेरी हार्ड वर्किंग वूमन अब मुझे अच्छा लगता है कोई भी हो जो इस फील्ड में हम लोग बहुत मेहनत करते हैं उनकी इज्जत करती हैं सारे क्रू की क्रू लव्स हो तो मेरे हिसाब का जैसे वर्क कल्चर है वैसा है कभी भी मुझे वेट नहीं कराया हम लोग कम से कम छः घंटा धूप में खड़े होते हैं पिछले साल गोवा में थे तब ती धूप में और इस साल पाण्डिचेरी में जहाँ पर बहुत खूबसूरत है लेकिन मौसम बहुत ही गर्म था कभी भी ऐसा नहीं हुआ कि यार कोई चूचा हो सॉरी यार आई एम जस्ट सेइंग कि ऐसा हुआ कि कोई प्रॉब्लम हो गई है शी इज़ ऑलवेज देयर वर्क फॉर द क्रू फॉर द कंटेस्टेंट्स और बहुत इन्वॉल्व हैं अपने काम में कि ये नहीं कि अच्छा आज क्या लाइने हैं बिकॉज ऐसे शो में एज अ होस्ट आपको पता होना चाहिए कि किसकी क्या स्टोरी है कौन सा कंटेस्टेंट किसको लाइक करता है क्यों इस लड़के को लाइक नहीं करता इनकी लड़ाई क्यों है उसके और वो इन्वॉल्वमेंट की वजह से वो पूरा जो जो प्रोडक्ट निकल कर आता है एज होस्ट हमारे लिए दैट्स अमेजिंग सो आई आई रियली थिंक हर जर्नी इज बिन इंस्पायरिंग वेरी प्राउड डंपिंग इस इस बार सबसे बड़ी बात है कि पहले किंग और क्वीन होते थे किंग लड़कियों को डंप करते थे और क्वीन लड़कों को पर इस साल देर इज नो किंग सिर्फ प्रिंसेस हैं प्रिंसेस इज नेवर गो बैक दे नेवर गेट डंप ठीक है लड़कों के पास वो पावर ही नहीं है इस बार वेयर वेमेन रूल में लड़कों को सब कुछ करना पड़ेगा एक अच्छा कनेक्शन करने के लिए लड़कियाँ कम है सो दे हैव टू वर्क हार्डर जैसे आपने देखा प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में भी वही पूरा कॉन्सेप्ट और बहुत सारे ऐसे टेस्ट हैं लड़कों के लिए और लड़कियों के लिए अगर कनेक्शन अच्छा है तो आप आगे जाएंगे और जीतेंगे एंड दैट्स द बिग डिफरेंस और उसके ऊपर से आई थिंक बिकॉज बॉयज़ हैड टू इम्प्रेस गर्ल्स लड़कियों को भी समझ आया कि अगर आप लड़कों को अच्छी तरह से ट्रीट करोगे तो आपको अच्छा ट्रीटमेंट ही मिलेगा and that was great to see and uski wajah se i think a lot of people thank you guys thank you last question ek last question ek last question main is show mein hame kitni reality dekhne ko milegi is season mein ki har baar aisa hota hai ki jo connections hote hain wo show ke baad toot jate hain to is baar kitni reality hogi is show mein well i think when you're dealing with first of all when you're dealing with contestants jo is umar ke hote hain in the age bracket that they're in they change their mind left and right anyways one second they're connected to somebody next second usne mujhe portray kiya mujhe ye kiya mere sath ye kiya and then all of a sudden they have a new connection so that really is how even outside works. the show spitsula yeah. ke bahar bhi bahut sare connections aap dekhte hain aapke friend circle mein aap celebrity se aap dekhte hain some of them don't last some of them last yeah. right so it depends on the people agar unko koi uh, sachi mein log mil gaye hain jinka connection because i have seen some of our old uh, splits villains कुछ रहते हैं कुछ नहीं रहते डिपेंडिंग ऑन कौन कहाँ रहता है कोई बॉम्बे में लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस तो ये सब यूथ के अंदर डिपेंड्स ऑन पीपल एंड वी होप एंड वी बिलीव कि ऐसे कनेक्शन रहें